What's going on guys? I'm here with a Puppet Nation's round of 16, I want to say. Yeah, round of 16. A uh, series between Alvara here in the Cyrillic uh, National Lines and Bacchus. This is Rome against Basilia. Uh, as we can see here, I mean, I won't lie, it's a five game series, so it should be super epic. Actually, I'm super excited to watch this. I haven't only seen one of the games. It'd be super cool. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to get all, all five games out so soonish. Okay. Right, let's start with game one. Orders understood. You can see, uh, pretty filthy army from Alara. Honestly, this is one of the fucking craziest armies I've ever seen for Rome. Super strong in theory, at least. Um, Let's just show it. He's got two Syrians here, uh, and two Bulgarics as his main one of archers. He has one Triarii. Nice, nice to be right there. One Triarii, one, two, three, four Wigiles, Vigiles. Um, so five uh, spears there. They can all go into square and kind of hold for a long time. Even the shitty Vigiles can do that, so that's nice. Uh, and he has, obviously, four Vitality, and one veteran Legionnaire. Wow, that's a pretty strong melee force. Indeed it is. Um, sake pute, sake pute, equite, sake pute, sake pute, and equite. There, so super strong uh, army. He's got five really kind of infantry. He's got tons of spears that just hold all day long. Oh, and to top it off, oh, you get four elite missiles. Interesting. Pretty strong army. Um, it'd be hard to, to stop. Um, now, Bacchus will have one advantage, which is he has Tarantine Cavs, so that'll really distract uh, a lot of units uh, to defend their rear, which should give him a little bit better. Um, let's look at his army though. We have about four uh, regular slingers, healthy slingers. We have Axe Warriors, super strong. These guys are a good choice against Rome, more than the Celtics, um, because they have. Uh, or uh, missile and hoplites, or no, yes, one regular hoplite actually, so three missile and hoplites, one hoplite, because you're just to hold a line, and the one advantage that uh, Bacchus will have is that he has all of his melee units are actually good in melee, whereas really only six of Alara's units, the five legions and the one triarii, are really good in melee. But the other guys can hold, but these hoplites can hold, and these axe warriors can all fight in melee pretty strong. Obviously you don't want them to fight one on one against like a dynamic body, right, but they're going to be able to do good damage. Um, in, in, in conjunction with the two of these Missilian Hoppers and Axe Warriors, they can get a lot of damage on the damage county. He only has to kill five of body only. But one advantage for Bacchus will be in his cav. He has two Hippias Lancers. Um, you know, normally you say like, oh, that's a pretty shitty unit, but uh, you gotta take what you can get against Rome, and the Hippias Lancers will be good at uh, killing, like, legions by charging them. So, good idea. Problem is, really weak missiles, and that's Bacchus is really out of fucked up. Um, two, yeah, two Hippias Lancers, three Basilian Cavs, two aforementioned Tarantine Cavalry. They're also quite good. I was actually thinking about this before, and I think Tarantine Cav are the best Jav Cav in the game that aren't Numidian Nobles or Numidian Armored Cav. I, I'm willing to say that. They're better than Galatian Raiders, they're better than Raiding Horse Fertilis, and they're better than Germanic Scout Raiders. Um, because they actually win in melee. You can dabble in, like their armor is so high and their health is so high, and their charge damage being medium is super high as well. So, if you get a couple of javelin volleys on Galatian Rangers, these guys will actually win. Um, and also, they can just kill stuff and they can't die. Like, if you do Galatian Rangers, I can counter Galatian Rangers with you and you have their methods. These guys just don't die. I mean, anyway, uh, yeah, quick thoughts. Here. Bacchus doing a nice job here of trying to harass these uh, Syrian archers and help his, uh, get his missiles out because they're really going to get fucked here. Uh, four Celtics against two Balearics and two Syrians, this is just terrible. But, uh, nice job with the Darien Times getting in between here, but they're probably going to fire infantry anyway because they're just fucking two legs and they always seem to shoot at infantry instead of cab. Oh no, nice shots in the cab here. And here, you could just charge, honestly, but besides uh, not to use that, the was kind of close. Now Black is going to have to run for a nice job distracting these Assyrians and look at a couple of kills and you can see that these guys are doing a good job. Now if you're choosing to focus, uh, which you definitely should be with uh, with Missilia here, it's an interesting decision what to focus. Do you focus the Polarics? Because they're going to be harder to kill and have more, they have more ammo, right? So if you focus 
focusing on killing them is more important than killing the Syrians who are basically going to use all their ammo and kill each thing. And so he's focusing this slinger, uh, there's a Syrian over here, it's just a better angle. You would have to like grab them here. Anyway, engagement starting on, on the left here. Nice engagement here, Triaria against um, uh, Axe Warriors. He's trying to get a second javelin volley here, I think. Nice charge into these other bodies. Got to follow up though. Uh, here, oh yeah, so here he's going to get charged. He really should just charge in. I'm gonna try to save the unit, but now this Triaria will win. I think if he was trying to cycle back and throw a second javelin volley into the Triaria, which is a nice idea. Every time being a bitch over here, it's fucking distracting. But these vigilates are eating most of the damage, which is nice. Nice charge into this Evakali, like I said, you can see it's already down to 100 men, instead of being like, full, and both these units are full. That's the power of charging, and it's literally the only thing that can save Bacchus, is getting better charges on infantry. Um... But the problem you can see is how these archers have killed the sling, both slingers on this flank, and now they're like, okay, let me just focus my cab. 35 armor, and pay us lancers. It's only 60 armor, but no shields. So they're really gonna start eating shit from these archers, and so he has to stay out of range. He has to get the right charges at the right time here. Nope, nice, nice, nice micro there. Getting out with his Tarantines, and they're gonna eat some shit uh, for chasing them, probably. Ooh, nice try. He's actually gonna charge in after these guys start to turn away to try to tie them down. Uh, Axe Warriors, yeah, you can see they got charged with the Dreary, and now the Dreary literally haven't lost any men. But over here, this Epicotti is gonna lose, I would say, maybe? I don't know, hard to say. But this Epicotti is gonna lose, for sure, because he got charged. This Epicotti is losing as well, so Bach is doing a really good job on this fight. This stock is trying to try to even it up against, uh, by charging this Axe Warrior, but, uh... He's got these reserves, and he just basically keeps his Epace Lancers alive and not getting shot up. And he can get to the archers with his Tarantines and maybe his Miscellany Cav. This is going to be really good for him. He's already killed potentially two Avakadi here. This Avakadi is actually starting to win against the Miscellany Hoplites. But when this Axe Warrior kind of gets in here, it'll be fine. And you can see, Bacchus really, really doesn't want to engage his base, right? Like, this would be a good angle to get a charge on this guy and then rear charge, but he just can't do it because there's... Over on this flank, though, the Avakadi are not here. So he's going to kill off this Vigilate, but you can see he immediately just large, immediately goes into the square. And, uh... The Avocadi charge and you get a really good charge. But these hoppers are following up and now he can cycle the Axe Warrior. Nice charge on the flank here. Um, Triaria are actually starting to lose, right? Like, you can see how good the Axe Warriors are doing against Triaria. It's just like, they got charged, so they're not. Um, but he has two Slingers alive, which is nice. He can start to focus. I mean, try to get angles on this Avocadi. Maybe I would put these Slingers over here and just start shooting this guy in the unshielded side. Uh, that's probably better there. But uh, he's also going to try to shoot Cav, which he's trying to do right now. And you can see that Box's Cav is super healthy. Considering how, how poor that his Cav is, they are super healthy. Nice again trying to charge this Avocadi, not letting it charge, letting it have to really charge, and just cycling in with another Missilian Cav. So that's pretty great. Um, trying to do everything he can to stop these guys. Nice rear charge here. He's really, Box is really doing a good job here, getting the proper charges to help his Avocadi win. You can see. Now he can engage this Axe Warrior, and he's going to do exactly that, right up Q, and this Avakadi is actually going to die. This Avakadi is going to die here in this 81 Miscellany Hotlines. This guy, probably this Avakadi is probably going to win, but it only has 50 men, so it doesn't really matter if it wins, right? And this Avakadi, this one's going to win, but... Right, but it's going to take a while to do so, and he's got his FAS Lancers now. Over here, this Avakadi... Alright, so that Legion, but it's doing well, I guess. Gotta stop these uh, these guys from getting through to the slinger, so he's gonna disengage his axe warrior. That's fine, he's got a hop light here to hold. That's basically their only job is to hold. Um, nice, rear charge from the hit base lancers. And now you can see the archers are a bit, uh, you know, lower on men. They've been shot up a little bit, charged a little bit maybe. And now these hit base lancers can come through and just start owning shit. Uh, and again, nice charge from that Saga Kutai, just immediately wrecking it, honestly. And this other hit base lancer, Jen, is killing off another Saga Kutai, so you can have these guys in the late game. And here, he does have two free uh, cab units though, but it's okay, his place lines will be free to save them soon. Sacrificing his Tarantines to stop these cab from getting the singers is absolutely right. Um, the place lancers, but look how fast they die, right? He's like, shooting them with everything. This uh, missing cab will get through, and maybe, maybe Bacchus will choose to sacrifice his own slingers to kill- Yeah, he will. He's gonna sacrifice his own slingers to kill all these guys. Absolutely valid idea. Slingers suck, these guys are good, they probably have half an ammo or more, especially these Polarics. And here's Hephaeus Lancer Gen's full here, so that's good. Avakadi status update, uh, losing here probably, 50 minutes against 80 axes. Jari are still pretty healthy, but they're kind of doing nothing. Avakadi down to 30 men, so 30 against, oh no, 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 Avakadi down to 18, they're dead. Avakadi, your vet legions here, winning, but uh, full axe warrior unit is coming to fuck them. And over here, Missilian Hoplites is going to lose to these Avakadi, but there's only 20 men left though. Bacchus looking really good right now. The Roman uh, 
infantry is starting to die, and here the Sapeus Lancer is just unopposed. Uh, Alar has two units here, he really should only have one unit there, right, because he doesn't need any two units to kill that. When he, char when he charged the Slingers, which are here, he should have sent one unit back to the Slingers. Because uh, now it's just wrecking havoc. You gotta love that feeling when you get a shock cab behind enemy lines, and you're just like, whoop, 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 just charging everything in the rear, and just like, fucking everything. That's an insane, um, Look how many kills this is a phase Lancer's getting. And this is why you save them for the late game. Everything is low HP, your charges are just fucking massive and so much damage. There's not as much there's no javelins on the field, especially. That's a, a huge point actually. Is that you know a javelin's gonna kill ten in Pace Lancers. Awful. Awful. So you don't let them do it. And now Marcus. He will lose this unit probably here. But he's got I mean he's got his gen. I mean his gen should be enough, this axe warrior. All the epic body are dying. I mean, this was really well played for Marcus, I gotta say, like, it's not easy, uh, to do that. You gotta, you gotta really get your charges right. But that being said, it's really not over. 41 Triaria here, he's got a lot of cav left. Okay, no, never mind, it is over. It's actually over. These Blairics are alive, but really nice play from Marcus. It's really tough to be patient uh, with your cab, especially when the enemy has this, like insane missiles. They're just shooting you, they're shooting you, focusing targets and stuff. But you really have to be patient. You have to let the javelins, um, you know, run out. He sacrificed a couple of Massilian cabs to stop Evacadi from just raping his line. So he like, he would charge them in into the Evacadi and then follow up with his Massilian Hoplites and Axe Warriors. And you could saw, you saw how effective that was, right? Like he really, really did a little really good job. Uh, Buck is just gonna chase the stock egg. He knows if he loses this, it's fine because he has his axe warrior here. Um, and so he's just waiting to uh, pull this off. And this axe warrior is also a three men that doesn't really want to run here. Triaria got 145 kills. Interesting choice from Alara. I like the Triaria. If you can get one Triaria, that's pretty that's pretty smart. The only thing is maybe you could get two new minions instead um, to stop those Terratines. Maybe he'll do that in the future games. Let's see. But the Shrider did well, right? It's like that, having conflict, basically. And, you know, like you have a, basically like an extra melee in, in, in these rules because you can only have five melee infantry. Having that Shrider is like having an extra guy. He's to keep us a pace lance here alive just because this uh, his Blair could actually kill a lot. But he's gonna charge in here. Nice charge. Gonna like, kill off the den. Nice second charge as well. Beast. Oh, now he's gonna charge. Unlucky. But won't matter. Nicely done. And really well played for Marcus. This was a, a really solid game. Um, both sides played pretty well. I think the only thing Alara should have done better is be a little more aggressive with his cat, right? You don't want to lose all your cat, but you cannot allow the enemy to charge your Evacadi. Actually, that being said, you don't even need to be aggressive with your cat, right? All you need to do. Oh, actually, it's. I mean, it may not be over because his gen is going to maybe die here and he has his cat. And the Blair could live. Interesting. Wait, if he actually loses this, I'm, I'm gonna be tilted. Save your gen, save your gen, nice, okay. Run, run away, right, run all over there. Well, that's player explain. Should be fine. Anyway, what I was saying is like, he could either charge in his stock case, right? Because they're better than the Basilian Cap anyway, and they're gonna do damage to them on the charge. Or he could just fall back and put his Vigilies in square, right? Have a Kali with his Vigilies in square so he can't really charge them. Walk forward. And then just engage. But you have to be careful about that. Um, so, yeah. Um, I believe Bacchus is just gonna win. Um, but we can just follow this out here. The gen coming in with the sacrificial yes, charge here. I think he's gonna make a lot of this, uh, this psychic is pretty healthy, but his gen is also healthy, and there's so much infantry on the field that it uh, shouldn't really be a problem. He just needs to not charge again. He just needs to defeat this. That was a GG. Um, a little bit of build. Yeah, so, regular Equity got a lot of kills, nice. I think it was killing the Slingers. Like I said, one Equity should have killed the Slingers, and the Sock Equity that was with it should have came back and killed the guys, like, or at least engaged it so the Slingers could kill it. Uh, Vigilates didn't really do that well. Usually, Alara is pretty good at going into square and then using archers and javelins. I don't think he did that that much in this game. Not sure why, right? Because they'll hold forever in square and the wrapping around will give your archers and slingers three spots. Um, Evocati didn't do that well, things considered. I mean, look, they all got 100 kills because they were fine, right? 
and you would ideally like them to get more because they've got to kill a lot of melee infantry here, right? Uh, the Traria did well, killed an axe warrior and was in the melee for a long time. Uh, slingers and archers like better. This guy got sniped early by two slingers. This guy did well, but the other guys got charged by the Hippias Lancer, and you can see the Hippias gen just absolutely went beast mode. Killed so many missiles. Um, was obviously alive in the lake. So. Um, Killing Cav did okay. Again, they were really ripe targets for this. So you wouldn't expect them to do too much, but again, they were crucial in stopping these other bodies from doing so well. Parentines probably could do better here. You kind of want to keep them alive, but then again, I, I forget, he did have to sacrifice them to kind of keep the slingers alive. But then again, since he didn't end up defending the slingers, I wonder if it would have been better to save one parent down and just let the cat kill the other one. But maybe he wanted to, he needed his gen to get in to kill the slingers, so he needed to sit on those two parentines. But either way, 70 kills, 50 kills for the parentines, not too bad, but you, they were unopposed, you would expect them to do better, maybe. Um, Mycelian Hoplites were really good. Axe Warriors, I mean, this is the thing, right? Axe Warriors getting as many kills as the other Warriors. That you really like to see. As, as and it's not easy to do. Uh, so I think that was really good. Well, Slinger's not going to many kills, but I think they killed off a Serian Archer. And they kind of sniped a few Balearics and, uh, and none of the other Serian Archers, so that's pretty good to see. Other Pays Lantern didn't do too well, but again, it kind of was uh, taking the fire for his gen, so. Uh, yeah, I got charged in first, right, and, and the Lars like, oh, I gotta kill the Hippias Lancer, so he starts focusing it, and meanwhile the gem was on his and it kind of got through. So, well played, I mean, 80 kills for not too bad. And he was winning most of the infantry engagements anyway, so he didn't have to use it against infantry, his gen was used for a couple of recharges, I think. Um, anyway, I will get the rest of the games out soon. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.